Hi, and welcome to Have a Chat. Um, I'm Verney Carsno, and I'm your, co your uh, co-host today. It's a wonderful, fantastic day here, and I, you know, I always talk about that, but that's okay. Um, today, I am joined by my amazing, wonderful, and of course, fabulous, Co-host Judy Loge. <laughs> yeah, we were joking about that because one of my bloopers a while ago was I said, hi, I'm Veronique Arsenault and I'm fabulous. Because I meant to say Judy Loge, but you know, that's okay. And I said, you own it, baby. That's right. Sometimes yeah. you gotta. What a beautiful day it is outside. Isn't it? It's Monday. Sunshine. Yes, we're excited to be here. Yes. And we're looking pretty snazzy, Judy. Well, you know, we've got some special guests coming I know. on to I know, the I coffee can't wait. theme. I know. So we're going to talk about why we're dressed like this momentarily. So let's kick off with your quote. All right. My quote quote I chose for this week is by an anonymous, anonymous writer and it is never apologize for having high standards. Mm -hmm. People who want to be in your life will rise up to meet them. Exactly. Right. So set yourself high on your standards and if you, okay let's go again. Never apologize for having high standards. People who want to be in your life will rise up to meet them. And what's your thought on that, Daryl? Well, I think it's true because, you know, sometimes there are times when people are struggling and you may, you may come, come down to help them up, but really in your regular everyday life, you should expect more of people. And I do set my bar high. So if I'm doing something in a leadership role, I expect if you want to be on my team, yeah. you've got to step it up to meet the standards that I'm going to lay out because I expect consistency and reliability and yeah. punctuality and all of that. I agree. Now we have two guests who have risen. Yes, <laughs> lovely And guests. continue to rise to, to some amazing standards. So we are joined right now, we have such a full show, just so you know. We are joined right now by Nancy Hallahan Sturgeon and Zachary Hallahan. So we've got a lot of Hallahans on the show I was today. Judy Hallahan, so oh my gosh. I know. Taking over. That's, yes. taking yes. over. And, and that's okay, we're, yeah. lo we're loving it. <laughs> we've honored you. Yes. Veronique and I have honored you Love. as to what you're gonna talk about today. Yes. Right. So there we're both here to talk about Craft Hockeyville and the Renews Arena. We are so excited about everything that we're seeing. We're pumped. I know. So Nancy, tell us a little bit about you first. Okay. Um, um, by day, yes, I'm an instructor with uh, New Brunswick Community College in Miramichi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by night and through the dark night, <laughs> yes. a member just most recently since January of the Craft Hockeyville Committee oh, wow. um, for the Renews Tom Donovan Arena. Mm. So. Yeah, and uh, stepping I'm a, out of the darkness. stepping out of the darkness yes. into the light. Yes, and uh, I'm a proud hockey mom yep. through the years, and now I'm a hockey grandma. Of course you are. Yeah, <laughs> and I wa just want to make sure that when uh, my little Gage comes back from Australia, mm -hmm. that there's an arena there for him. Yeah. So Aww. that's that's one of the reasons. But I love it. yeah, it's uh, it was something close to our heart and something that until the threat of us losing the rank or potential of you know, uh, delays and things mm -hmm. like that, that's when the panic set in, and yeah. that's where Zachary comes in. Okay. Yeah. Zachary, yeah. tell us all about you. So I'm kind of like Nancy from Renews. I'm paramedic for five and a half years. Okay. I started with the Renews rink in Renews Rec Center 10 years ago. We wow. started volunteering. I remember you. Kind of born and raised <laughs> into yeah. it. Yeah. So this yeah. was the normal, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how you did it. This is how you, Renews was the rink and the rec and the ball field for so many years, right. mm -hmm. and so many people have put their houses on the line and everything, their jobs. Yeah. This is what brought communities together. Yes. So when it came down to, like Nancy said, push came to shove back in the fall, and everything came to fruition about what was happening, what needed to be done, we said, you know what? Let's make it happen. Well, then you're going to have to for the viewers who are not, who are totally yes. in the dark yes. about so what this oh. whole project is. Tell the viewers about this. Well, um, it was a stormy day, January 20th, yeah. <laughs> and uh, idle hands make you know mm -hmm. for a lot of work, right? Yeah. <laughs> So someone had mentioned earlier in January, uh, we should try out for Craft Hockeyville because mm -hmm. we had known um, that the committee of two, yeah. <laughs> that we had a thousand dollar raise, like goal yeah. for the summer. Yeah. Like, you know, at least a couple thousand every month, January, we we're going to do hearts for hockey in February oh, yes, okay. and, you know, little things yes. like that. And the community has always been great to rally around mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um, so uh, I went online to see if um, the person that I had mentioned it had decided that they were, you know, had made the nominations and no nominations were yeah, there. Yeah, you can see that. You can see the, the arena there on the screen. Tom Donovan Arena. Yeah. 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 The one and only. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we've had the pleasure of, you know, families getting together and um, Tom Donovan uh, put years and years to make ensure that that rank was going to be there. Um, his uh, banner stands um, above the rafters where 
he passed away on the ice 20 years ago. You're oh, kidding. that's right. Yeah. And he would always mm -hmm. say, um, if I die, I'll die happy with a pair of skates on. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Heavens. So what the an honor family, to there it is. Oh, okay. And uh, so the family of Tom Donovan really rallied behind us, and anything the rink does, they're there. Um, How old's the rink? The rink, 1984. Okay. And the foundation was laid by hand because the cement trucks couldn't make it. Oh my God. So it was a couple of uh, trucks of men went up and down renews until they had 50 guys. Whalen's, Donovan's, Hollihan's, you know, oh, um, Tucker's, yes. uh, you know, Mandrills, everybody. Many of these I spent at that canteen. Oh, there's, at, there's at Joan and her Joan rink. Burgers. And I met Zachary there as yes. a matter of fact. He was a volunteer and I was a hockey mom. Zachary yeah. Was bleachers. We were many. probably the two loudest people in the heat. We there, were. Yeah. We were. It was all was, about us. It was all about us. But my gosh, those were the good old days. Oh, but, they were. Oh, and it, it's, it's just, it's been a hub of everything like from yeah. you know our kids mm -hmm. when my kids are growing up they're 24 26 and 28 now oh. like they talk about the woodsman contest we had in there oh, yeah. they talk about the wheels for david that we did oh. like for yep. you know raise something like 70,000 in a weekend a for yeah. you know in the the amount uh, they talk about the tractor there's zamboni going mm -hmm. there but yeah. um you know kathy mccormick went through the olympics and was like yes. the tractor's off the ice and they're like what because she oh. comes from a rink that had tractors not right. a real zamboni yeah, so okay. um that's always kind of been a joke we have upgraded to an actual zamboni <laughs> um but we still a lot of times call it the tractor so yes. it's it's a lot of history um mm -hmm. a lot of great players come out of this rink um it's a community of less than a thousand a yep. little more over yeah. 700 <clears throat> And a close knit, very close glad community. Yeah. My dad's from Reno, is yes. and a lot of my relatives from Reno, is, and I know the love they have for one another as community members. It's just the small, close knit community. It's the memories. The right. memories yes. is beyond. Yeah. Like, it's reached so many people across Canada, so many people across New Brunswick. That that's what it's all about for us. It's so you're competing to be able to now. Veronique was going to yes. ask yeah. about yes. this. So how did so um, tell us a little bit uh, about this um, about um, Thomas and how this became what we're now seeing. Well, Thomas Dunn was a young man who passed away um, long weekend of yeah. uh, Canada mm -hmm. Day long weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And that same weekend, there was another tragedy right. um, that impacted a family. But standing at this point now, we are 18 months into several devastating tra yeah. mm -hmm. tragedies within our little community and surrounding area. Yeah. Thomas was the youngest of uh, those accidents, mm -hmm. and his friends kind of rallied together like the T6 logo you're going to see mm -hmm. on a lot of the pins. On my yeah, yeah. your yeah, pins your it. buttons yeah. Yeah. Um, that was uh, one mom that said to her son whatever you need to do heal go yeah. do it so he found a company Owen Underhill found a company and he wanted it stacked like mm. a ball player he mm. was a ball player Sweet little kid. so it's the mm. T for Tom because yeah. Don always yelled go T yeah. and six was his hockey number okay. wow. and so he stacked it like baseball um, then the never done was Mason Dunahoo hashtag mm -hmm. never done mm -hmm. um, and now we're at the hashtag get her done yes <laughs> but <laughs> Thomas was not only a humble athlete he was a skilled athlete mm -hmm. he was against mm -hmm. like he was the he policed the pl playground. Well, no I've one was bullied. Like, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. How old was the child when he lost he his life? 14. 14. He was 14. 14 years old. Yeah. So, and and so the anti-bullying, he wore pink all the time. He loved it. Like, you know, when he found out about bullying Sweet. day, he always wore pink. That's why yeah. we're wearing pink. Beautiful yeah. child. Yeah. And he was always an organ donor. Organ donor Which, was and the I big. Did hear that yeah. As well. yeah. yeah. So, Bless like that there. part, and and he had a lot of conversations with his family about Humboldt and his brother. Angel, yeah. really. Yeah. Really, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And like you said, you'd be at the rink a lot, Zach. He and just ran, and he was just a smile. Yeah. He was that kid that anything that you wanted done, he would do it. He would go chase the pucks around the rink, and he'd take them back to you with the Zamboni driver, or he'd come up and anything that uh, the kitchen workers or anybody needed done. He was that kid that was at the front of the line. Yeah. Very he special. He had the biggest. He was. Yeah. He had the biggest smile that any kid could ever imagine. He was just a happy, happy Happy, kid. happy, yep. and we'll he always was. have that memory he will. of him as a yeah, happy young sure. man. So the Craft uh, Hockeyville application went in in January. Yeah. On the 20th of January, yes. and we thought we were going to get a little group on our Facebook with 25 or 30. <laughs> um, we were like, wow, we're up to 200. Whoa, it's six. And by the time we woke up in the morning, oh. which was about 14 hours yeah. later from starting at supper time, we had over 1,000. Wow. 
our current count. We're over like 8,200. Yeah. And I have everyone rooting it's for you guys too. My sons in Nova Scotia. It's been yes. phenomenal. So that is the other thing too about voting. You'll get to yes. all of that. But yes. It's yeah. Pretty darn exciting. You're competing against four other arena up yeah. dues. Are you like yes. the renovations? Yeah. Each each has their own story, okay. and, and each story was told in a different way. Mm -hmm. um, How powerful is our story? Our powerful really has. There? It's good. Our power, Our story has so many hooks in it. Okay. That it really it goes beyond you know laying the foundation by hand yeah. it goes beyond mm -hmm. everything Thomas Donovan had done yeah. um, it goes beyond the ten men that Maurice are houses that women we can't name yeah. the ten men because women are saying that wasn't my husband oh. <laughs> okay um, you know to the pictures and and the community getting together there to that foundation yeah. to realizing um, that the community need a lot of healing and that mm -hmm. the the youth in Thomas's yeah. grade and the teammates yeah. that Thomas had, whether in ball or hockey, they led the charge. And just devastated through it all, like devastated yes. about wanting to, to, to do live more. In yes. honor of him and do yes. more. Yes. Our video is a minute and 30 seconds that'll make you smile, it'll yes. make you cry, it'll yeah. give you goosebumps. Yes. It'll it did give all you of those everything when I watched that you want. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. just so powerful. It's exactly. unreal. To yeah. access that video for people that can go on Facebook, yeah. can they? And yes. it'll come right up. Yeah, it'll pop up. It's in our group multiple times. Uh, Tom Dunn, Tom Dunham and Arena renews New Brunswick in memory of Thomas Dunn. Mm -hmm. That's our group name. It's on there multiple times, or you can go right onto the Craftville yeah. website, and yeah. it's right. Ours is the first one. We yes. have the most views, the most shares. We're over like sixty thousand views. Wow. And fifteen hundred shares. So what off do the we? Website. What do we need to do? Okay. What do we need to do? That what is the you most need to do yes. is you're sporting these beautiful jerseys yes, today. Yes, okay. Are. My, I'm assistant captain. Your assistant captain. Yes. yes. Jersey. The jersey makes four of her, but that's okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. That's okay. That's house league. With yes. equipment under there, we're yes. gonna give you yes. a little more yes. puff. Yes. Um, so on Friday, we're we're starting. I'm doing a rally at the college at twelve thirty to one, and. I'm going to start out with uh, recognizing our Aboriginal, yes. um, you know, that we're on Mi'kmaq land yes, and I have some dancers that will yep. be there. Um, a little background on uh, where we, the process that we've come to, it's going to be Jersey Day everywhere in New Brunswick, yeah. so hopefully the Atlantic right? camp, the yes. 29th, okay. and then by 1 o'clock uh, at the rally, it's hopefully that I'll be able to uh, cast at least one of the initial first votes yes. and it'll be on the big screen and from that people will be able to see how to vote mm -hmm. and get all the rules and everything like that. So um, we are Hockeyville. Uh, visit www.crafthockeyville.ca and um, you know follow our hashtags never done, get her done, T6, renews 2019. Oh, you can vote from those. anywhere in Canada. Anywhere in Canada. Oh. Um, Every six Canadian, seconds. yeah. Okay. Every six seconds. Every six yeah. seconds, you can yeah. cast really? a vote. It's yes. unlimited. It's unlimited. It's thirty-two hours. Yeah. Straight. Oh, I think you guys have a phenomenal wow. chance we're, with all We're hosting, yeah. like we're we're releasing our whole events. Yeah. Um, the school has been, the school district has mm. been phenomenal. Yeah. Um, they've dedicated 20 for Tom. I heard that. Yeah. yeah, and we're hoping businesses will pick up on that. The window display yes. came, okay. became a life of its own oh. in itself. Um, we were just started, like, you know, going to deliver, and then it's like, nope, here's everything. Print yeah. them off yourself. Yeah. We saw the legislature. Yeah, yeah. The legislature. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and there, Premier Higgs all, all gussied up there. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. People he, are talking about it. It's, it's, the buzz is in the air. On the radio waves. It took a few yes. of its own, and it's just ran. Yeah. Like, driving yeah. through Miramichi, you can't go anywhere without seeing a vote, 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 yeah. renews. Yeah. I yeah. had people yesterday texting me pictures from Moncton. Yeah, yes. it's yeah. everywhere. It's yeah. province wide. Our students have moved it, it on is. to university Nova to get Scotia. jobs elsewhere. Yes. Nova Scotia, PEI, Moncton, Fredericton, Nunavut, St. John, Vancouver, St. John, I really Northwest want to Territories. Like, I really want to highlight the fact that you know what, your child may not currently play in Tom yeah. Donovan Arena, right. but there may be a day, or yes. maybe yes. they yes. played there at some point, or maybe your cousins or whatever. So you know what, it, take that moment to vote. You can vote unlimitedly every yep. six seconds. Every six yes. seconds. How yes. amazing is that? Take that, it doesn't matter where you're from. No. Let's, let's support this community yeah. to move forward and heal some. Yes. And New Brunswick is the only Atlantic province that has not won yeah. up to this yeah. point. That's right. And is the only Atlantic province that is currently in the top four. Oh right. my, yes. yeah. my yeah. heart's starting to pass. Yeah. 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 No, it's really Exciting. It is. It's a it big is. Thing. Yeah. Our, our competition is Alberta yeah. and Saskatchewan and Quebec. Yeah. But we can do it. We I know. It. We I have to do feel it. Like, do it. Like, yeah. I feel like uh, the momentum um, we're building off. A lot of the footwork of the rally that should have been done in this part, 
we as a committee kind of overkilled yeah. and we did it all yeah. ready. We've yeah. done the community rally. Yeah. We've had our, yeah. our stickers and our banners yeah. and our, our stuff. So um, now we're just at the vote, 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 vote. There's one, um, one uh, not important, well, it's not the most important, but there is an important piece is that uh, the day that they announce the results. Yes. Is what day? Well, we found out that the results will be voting stops at 9.30 our time mm -hmm. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we realize now that 11.30 to, to um, 11.45 is when the, the rundown of, of, you know, the, the impact of it. It will be the eve mm -hmm. of Thomas's 15th birthday. He's watching over this, you yeah. know. Yeah, there's both divine toms. intervention. Both Toms. Both Toms. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. toms. And, yeah. and the way their spirits were here yeah. on earth yeah. carry through. Are, that is going to carry through. Like, I'm getting all misty. You know, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> to, no, like, like, okay, so we reside in Miramichi East. Yes. Yes. And I. yes. However, if that was our 1,000 people needing a new arena, yeah. we would want everyone's support so yeah. badly. So we're putting your, ourselves in your shoes. And yes. I've been there and done that at that yes. arena. It does yeah. not mean I won't be back in time to go visit that arena. Yes. Yes. I want yes. to see it new yes. and improved yes. and We've even had uh, a video series from Jake Allen. Yes. Like, a, a, you know, we've had, um, you know, from Alberta, the the announcers and things like yeah. that, that, you know, three old, three uh, old, three former <laughs> NHL uh, yeah. hockey yeah. players yeah. and things like that. Like, and just to recognize that voice and saying, I like, they're that. saying renews. They're That's saying renews. Right. Right. You know, but it, it's renews is out there and, and we're the, on the, the need of it. Yeah, so we're, we're just, on the map. We're just about out of yeah. time. Yeah. We want to make sure that everybody knows you need to vote yeah. as of 1 p.m., correct? Yes. On Starts at 1 p.m. Friday the, 20, the 29th. Yes, yeah. right through till Saturday the uh, 9.30, the voting close. Um, Crafthockeyville.ca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check our, our Facebook page. We're going to keep every, everything up to yeah. date. Um, we are willing to go wherever we are needed mm -hmm. to spread the word. Yeah. Um, stay tuned. Save the date. Yeah. Um, take sick days off on the 30th because Both. it's a full Exciting. day. Vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, vote. That's it's every six seconds. Well, every we want to We want to thank you so much for joining us today. And thank it is you. near and dear to our hearts and we're thank with you. you. We will thank be voting. You. We will be thank voting. You. Now, don't go too far. Uh, we have a full, full show. So we, uh, we're just going to break, but we want to make sure that you come on back. So come on back in a few minutes and vote on Friday. Vote. Think hockey. Mm -hmm. Vote. Renew. Hi, and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm Veronique Arsenal, your host today, with, along with my fantastic, fabulous, and most wonderful co-host, Judy Lozier. Thank you for that, Vero. Back to you. <laughs> you both, you know, we try. Um, so we scooted out of our Hockeyville gear, and uh, we are we have our next guest on the show. We are so excited. Yes. Uh, and so thrilled to welcome Krista Chase, who is a commercial account manager with RBC. Welcome. Thanks for having me. The busy you. woman you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah, for sure. So Krista, tell us a little bit about you so that the viewers can get to know you as well. Well, I'm Marg and Doug Chase's daughter. That's a common question here yes. locally. You'll yeah, get well. daughter, are you? <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm a mom of three, six, mm. four, and two years old. Oh, so you're busy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a great husband to help me out, though, so yes. that helps. Um, and actually, I'm from here and then went away for about a decade. I worked in Thailand, Tanzania, oh, wow. and made my way back from the west. I went to Victoria Edmonton and then oh. came back home in 2014. Oh, I'm so yeah. happy you did. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It was beautiful. So you're at, okay, so your job is right here in, is it um, like central? Is that your job, like based here or do you travel? Well, actually I am Miramichi's only commercial account manager. Oh. So we used to have a lot of us here on the river back when we had all of our large industry, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of banks moved those into Moncton or Halifax, mm -hmm. so I'm right. the only one left. Oh wow. Um, so I actually handle from Booktouche all the 
way through down to Trackety. Oh. And I do that, I sit in the Newcastle branch if you're ever looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so tell us what a commercial account manager does. Well, essentially, um, most banks you'll be familiar with a small business account manager. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have your own sole enterprise or up to about 40 employees or whatnot, I tend to be kind of the next level up where if you have, um, more complex needs mm -hmm. or a higher lending amount and okay. also I do nonprofits. Oh, okay. So if a nonprofit has large account balances that they want to earn more interest on so they can actually do more work in the community right. and whatnot. Um, it's basically I have more tools at my disposal to craft something unique. Oh, very nice. okay. interesting and yeah. very very important that you have that role because there are a lot of tips you could probably give people our viewers today and ourselves as well of yes. course on on banking just yeah. generalized uh, information that they yeah, should know. Yeah just general because uh, mm -hmm. you know a lot of people may not actually own a business or whatnot so I thought I might bring some things that just everybody can use yes exactly. we all need that yeah because <laughs> banking we, we has a, the, a lot of things have happened in the last five years mm -hmm. so some people might be familiar with sending email transfers mm -hmm. and that's a great way to pay your snow removal guy mm -hmm. your hairstylist even a yeah. lot of times things that maybe people don't want to have a debit card machine or whatnot mm -hmm. you can send an email transfer and as of January that's even become a lot easier where you can actually go in your online banking with almost any of the mm -hmm. banks and enroll in what's called auto deposit. Yes, I love that. And yeah, so <laughs> it takes the hassle out of it because mm -hmm. what it'll do is it'll take having to log on and log in and do that whole password rigmarole. Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that anymore. No, just go to your online banking branch. It, once you enroll and it says, you know, payments sent to this email, mm -hmm. I want them to go to this account, you'll still get the email saying so-and-so sent you money, Yes, yeah. but you won't have to go through all the hassle Very to good. get it uh, delivered, so it's kind of like cash on demand. I know people are doing it on a regular basis all the time, all the time more and more. Yeah, well, if, if, even for us at work, what, what we'll do is if we're ordering lunch, one of we'll all e-transfer to the person that is going right. to pick it up sure. and then they have all the money when they go yeah. rather than oh, i'll get it back to you later or i have to go to the bank or whatever yes. um, we're doing it by via e-transfer yeah. so Blue, wonderful much easier another one that's new actually uh, another add-on to that is now you can actually request money by email transfer really so for example if um you're all going in on vacation a vacation and you're booking it together and you're splitting the condo or yes. something i could request you know, from my friends, oh. this is what you actually owe me. So wow. you, there's less back and forth. Interesting. Which, yeah. yeah, that's good because a friend of mine, um, she lives away. She, I've never seen her like uh, as uh, on a trip as such. So we're talking about that because she is a widow and she would like to do something. Mm. And so that would work well for her being in mm -hmm. another province and for me, to, you know. Easy. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's smooth yeah. and easy. And also another one people may be a little bit, I've had uh, people ask questions about is taking a picture of your check to I deposit love that. it. I do too. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to wait in line um, to deposit your check anymore. You can actually log in when, with your app and take a picture of it front and back mm -hmm. and it goes in. And people are a little bit concerned about that. Oh, you know, what about a photo of a check? Mm -hmm. And actually all the banks in Canada now, that's what the tellers are doing behind. Oh. They all have scanners. Okay. So there's no more manual processing of checks, so don't be scared. Interesting. Um, it's actually just a handheld version of what the tellers are using mm -hmm. behind the How scenes. How interesting. Yeah. Um, like I have a U.S. Visa card. And I travel to the states on a fairly regular basis, so uh, I like to. I used to like to pay it, go into and just pay it in person. But mm -hmm. now you can actually just, like you said, do that online. Yes. And actually, they won't accept you going to the bank any longer, will they? Well, you can, but it's banks are trying to provide more value add for the time that uh -huh. you're spending in the bank branch. Mm -hmm. Right. So a lot of transactional things like paying bills and whatnot, right. they've provided a lot of robust solutions to do that more cost effectively, mm -hmm. time efficiently. So in your online banking app on your phone, Judy, you can actually book your U.S. dollars. Yes. So you can order them in advance of your trip Perfect. and they'll be ready to pick up. Mm -hmm. um, you can, you know, move money between your Canadian and U.S. You can, mm. if you lose your credit card, if you forgot it in your luggage and oh you can, my. couldn't find it. Wire me some money, honey. <laughs> that's my, that's yes. my go to life. you scared, where is it? You can, you know, pause it so that you don't have to cancel that number. And when you find it, unpause yeah. it again. I'm just going to say it that there are a lot of seniors and seniors, we're starting with, we're going to say over 50, <laughs> um, but actually seniors 65 and over that do have a hesitation because they're just, uh, they're not a comfort with computers. They don't even have one some of the time. Yes. So they still have to go in. Is it going to be difficult for people who don't have apps and don't have computers as, as such to go in there and do regular business? No. So we all, we'll always have our tellers. Okay. And also, actually, that's a great leading question because Canada, you're going to see new ATMs come all across Canada. Mm -hmm. They're called smart ATMs. 
ATMs okay. and they're going to be able to do more and more. So um, we're always going to be able to help people do things. For example, Good. if a senior wants to learn to use the ATM to do bill mm -hmm. payments and whatnot, mm -hmm. we're always there to show that as well. I think there's always that fear and, mm. you know, of, of like security fears, right? That yes. if I'm doing everything and I mean, I'm very used to doing most of my stuff online. Yes. The only thing I don't do online is shop. And for, I don't know why. I don't either. <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't. I'm I, sorry, I do a lot. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> shop because I worry about what I'm going to get. But, um, mm. but I, I understand that that fear because you know there's always those phishing scams and all yes. that stuff. There's that fear that if I'm using everything digitally, that it's easier to mm. steal my information. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of safeguards in place. However, if all safeguards fail, you can be rest assured that the bank always does an investigation and clients are made whole for mm -hmm. whatever they were defrauded of. Okay. So there's kind of insurances in place to make sure people don't lose their right. money. Right. Um, there's usually an investigation process that happens, but mm -hmm. in the end, even if it happens, you're, you're not you're kind covered. of out of pocket. But in terms of phishing emails, mm -hmm. a tip that I use, because even my clients will sometimes send me, is this real, yeah. is this what? And what I always check is some of them are really, really convincing, but mm. if you look to see what the email address is, mm -hmm. where it's being sent from, mm -hmm. it'll often be like IRBC bank, right. uh, dot gmail.com or something yeah. that's mm -hmm. different. I've had those yeah. happen. Yeah. I'm very weary. I just delete. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. just delete. And you can, you could, if you want to forward it to the bank and we can, we report them as well okay. as phishing and the investigation. Because I think, so, I, I read somewhere that um, the bank will never email you and say you need to log in and give us no. your password right. and no, all that. Yes, the bank will never uh, you ask you to log in they'll also always refer to you by name if we're and you'll actually see our signature on the bottom okay. so if I am truly right. mailing you yeah it'll be from Krista hey. you know at rbc.com yeah. and you'll see all my stuff you'll never kind of get these blanket yeah um, template emails from your bank mm -mm. No. I, yeah, yeah if it was something urgent we would phone you right and yeah. I get many of them where it's you know it's uh, you no, know it's you must scam. yeah and it's always funny because I, I only do bank with RBC and mm -hmm. and so I often get them uh, your your account will be locked at, at BMO yeah. in the next 24 <laughs> hours if right. you don't if you nice. don't you know log in I'm like yeah, yeah. No. yeah but it's exactly. so good because I was saying just before we came to air that I'm so thankful you're sharing information about that you do do an investigation where we were uh, mm -hmm. traveling and had money being off, taken off of our credit card mm -hmm. and we got back to find out that there was 500 each day that we were back from That's Vegas and, mm -hmm. and we were notified right away and it was honored of wow. course and we put back into our account but they were on to it yes like you said it's a very important uh, security to have in place yes and even for businesses, it's actually more cost effective now to pay your employees and vendors um, electronically. Mm. It's cheaper than the paper to get mm. checks. Um, and there's safeguards built in with that because even if you were tricked into filling out your username and password, mm -hmm. even if you failed that step and you fell for it, yeah. um, to send money, large amounts of money, mm -hmm. there's these little tokens where the numbers change every 60 seconds. So if you're going to be sending large amounts of money, the all of our online banking platforms will ask you to put in that token. Oh, all right. So okay. somebody would have to physically kidnap you yeah. right, 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 right. <laughs> to okay. get your token yeah. and your password. So uh, okay. there's kind of other layers built in too. Wonderful. And yeah. then chips are another little valuable tool, right, for security. <laughs> no, but people have cards without the yes, chips, Yes, the card correct? chips, yes. Yeah. And the, the chip chips readers. give you that extra security and yes. extra safety component. Yes, because it's, you know, you have to have the card to put the chip and then the pin. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's safer than just the sign your name on the line. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, now, oftentimes I will um, tap <laughs> tap my my card because I you know it's funny how um, we now think that it takes too long to put a pin in yes right because I mean that was never it takes yeah. three and a half seconds right but now it's like no I have to tap We're in a fast world yeah yes. so um, but I always worried that like somebody but there's a limit on how much you can tap it's as well. usually a hundred dollars right. and actually that's a great question because if even if you're uncomfortable with the hundred dollars you can set that with the bank to be lower okay. okay so you can actually ask them to put your tap limit down to sixty or fifty or okay. whatever you you feel comfortable with. Yeah. How am I going to make more money, Krista? <laughs> <laughs> Question of the day. I mean, I know, I know, I know how I shouldn't be spending it, but any tips on how to help us like with savings or what we should be doing with that kind of stuff? Yeah, actually, we have a lot of free things that you can do within your online banking app. So a lot of times people don't take the time. Well, we're busy, right? You don't yeah. have the time to click. So some things that I can highlight that are great um, for 
getting saving on your interest rates is having a perfect credit score or a great credit score and managing it wisely. And mm -hmm. now, even with the other, not just my institution, but other banks, we have partnerships where if you go in your online banking, you can actually click and see your own credit score. Oh, wow. And you can actually manipulate, what if I paid off this balance? What if I took a loan? What okay. it will do to your credit score. Interesting. We also have apps in there um, for your finance tracker. It's called My Finance Tracker. Yes, yes. And that can help you keep track of how much money you earn versus how much you're spending yeah, on yeah. how much shopping you're doing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And we have a new one called My Advisor that just launched, which actually will help you. You can set goals. So um, a lot of people use it for tracking your retirement. I have that goal, but I also have Dominican Republic trip and Yay! Cuba trip. Right. <laughs> exactly. I have those there. In there. So I am with you. <laughs> my little 20 bucks a week putting mm -hmm. in here and there, and mm -hmm. it's tagged to one of my goals, and it tells me mm -hmm. on the dial how I'm doing to achieving that by the date I want to do it. Okay. Helps keep me a visual of, geez, you know, you, I'm eating too many uh, breakfast sandwiches out or yeah. whatnot. Yeah, I gotta, exactly. Yeah, 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 put that $20 back to my little vacation fund, so okay. it kind of helps with that. So do you get people coming in just wanting to talk to you as a consultant one-on-one -on -one to go over the things you're telling us today? Do you actually have time to do that Well, with essentially, that's, the, that's what RBC is trying to do and lead as our strength is we're leading with advice. Mm -hmm. So we're taking banking away, or our approach is to take banking away from transactional. You can kind of figure that out your own, but where we come in is the advice. So definitely Tips. contact your banker and um, the more discussions you have about what goals you're trying to reach mm -hmm. and what your situation is, the more we can lead with advice and help you get there faster. Do you find that most people don't set financial goals? I think we're so bombarded with so many priorities, right? Yeah. It's it, it can kind of get out of hand and whatnot, but that's why I think they're, the thought behind this my advisor was is you can kind of go in and start your goals mm -hmm. and then you can actually book an appointment there so mm -hmm. instead of having to call and wait mm -hmm. you'll actually and actually the my advisor appointments you can do it's like a webex where it's the video chat uh, okay so you don't if you're a person that doesn't want to come in the branch yeah. or you're working out west and it's hard to find time yeah. to do that you can actually do it all virtually now because people are of the mindset that they're living from paycheck to paycheck yep. a lot of the time. They don't think it's yep. even possible to go on that trip, but they That's don't right. realize that they cut back their, their coffee, wherever they purchase their mm -hmm. coffee drinks, yep. or, or um, you know, uh, what do you call those uh, drinks that give you energy, energy oh, drinks yeah. and all yeah. that stuff. That three dollars that's here and three dollars that's there. If they put that towards the funding for for a vacation, they'd yeah. be shocked that they can actually do that. Yeah, and that's right. And they it, don't think that they, no, they can. no. And it's funny because we often think, oh, I'm just going out to eat, you know, yes. every couple of days, or I'm having, you know, whatever. But it really does stack up. And it, that was the part that that I really noticed when I stopped mm. going out to eat as often as I was, yes. that I was able to take that money and like. And anybody that follows me on Facebook knows how many <laughs> adventures I've had lately, but that's that's why, yes. right? Because I really that I I have enough stuff at home. I don't need any more I'm just stuff. Stop feeding the dog. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. I'm sure she'd love it. Yeah, I'm sure she'd love it. But I really wanted I wanted to do things. I wanted to have those adventures, and so that's that's yes. that became yeah. my goal, and that's when I really started putting things. Putting aside. Th yeah, yeah. You know what's great? I find the easiest way to do that is ask your employer if they have an employee savings program ah. we can offer one to employers here locally that's free we administer it free Good it's idea. free to the employer and it actually allows the employees to have it taken off their check and put into savings uh, before they ever okay. see it yeah that's better oh, yeah oh, I think that's really <laughs> because yeah. you don't miss what you've never seen no that's, that's right true. yeah no yeah. that's right really? yeah so you're a really busy woman so you travel all over the you said from Bucktush from Bucktush to Trakady is where my client base is mm -hmm. so um, like I might have to go to Renews to do a site visit yeah there you go <laughs> and check out the rink as well you should, um, you should. any last minute tips before we sign off for this segment anything big that viewers should know Hmm. Going on, or that they should be aware of, or new and improved. How am I going to make more money? <laughs> you know what? I, I have a project that I'd like yeah. the community's help in. Is um, we have a great program at RBC, where is when RBC employees volunteer okay. locally, um, RBC will give money after our, our volunteering is done. They'll actually okay. donate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm looking for is because we're also busy people, and I've got a lot of kids. I'm looking for RBC retirees. Mm. So if you're an RBC retiree, please reach out to me. Um, you might already be volunteering in the community, whereas we can just come behind you and help and actually mm -hmm. give a, a monetary don mm -hmm. donation as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm making a list of okay. RBC retirees. So win win project. Win yeah. for I them, love win for that. Us. I love that. And of course, we want to talk about voting again for Craft Hockey Bill because <laughs> yes, we want everybody to vote. We need them too. Yeah, we want everybody mm -hmm. to vote. That's such a, a, an, an amazing initiative. But, you know, thank you so much, Krista. Wealth there, of knowledge. 
Yeah, and it's, you know, Thanks really a lot of us don't, and I'm, I'm guilty of that. I haven't made um, my savings or my, my financial future a, a priority, and so I'm at that age now where, you know, pension and everything makes a difference, and it's important. But yeah. we want to thank you for your tips and tricks. Very interesting. And, and uh, we're looking forward to what's next. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I mean, lots lots going on in the region, and of course, Krista's challenge. If you're a retired RBC uh, employee, please do let her know so that she can find some yes. money. Yeah. Yes, because awesome. the more we can give back, why not? Let's use it. I know, That's I right, agree. Krista. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we have another segment coming up. Fantastic show. Very full show today. Yes, Judy. and that's Very important full information you get. So uh, don't go too far. Uh, go grab a coffee and take a break, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Krista Chase, Thank for joining you us. Thank you very much. Yep. Hi, and welcome back to Have a Chat. We are so excited about today's show. It has been very full, for sure, and a great one. Uh, I'm Veronique Arsenal, your host for today, with my fantastic co-host, Judy Loge. We get along so well. I know we do. <laughs> Thank thankfully, we're related to Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's been a very full show so far, but we've got more guests, which mm, we're excited to have. Guests, uh, we have Tara Adebert. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> and Mandy Mayer. How are you both, ladies? Welcome. Very good. Smiles on Monday to share some information. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, thank you for joining us. And you're here to talk, us, talk to us about improv for anxiety. Yes. And I am so fascinated by this. Mm. But please introduce, so we'll start with you, Tara. Introduce yourself so that everybody at home knows who you are. Um, well, my name is Tara Onimer. I um, I'm a, an animator, I guess, basically. Mm -hmm. I run an animation studio here in Miramichi called Moxie Fox uh, Studio. Oh, wow. And as well as a, a gaming collective called the Nigwe Collective. That's a First Nations collective. We do apps cool. and stuff. Oh, neat. Um, so I know nothing about either <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> and I didn't even know this was in Miramichi. <laughs> So we'll yes. have you back yes. to talk about that so, stuff. Mm -hmm. That's just kind of part of my background of yeah. where I'm coming from with the acting because it I talked about, you know, usually improv, it's for acting, and yeah. I'm not really necessarily an actor, but I do come from an animation background of yeah. 20 years, and That's really, wicked. animators, you're... Uh, you are the actor behind the cartoon. Oh, yes. and that. So that's kind of where this comes into play. And I did do uh, training in school in animation. They teach us improv and acting and things like that. So acting for animation. Very cool. Um, so basically, that was kind of where my background comes from. I also host a podcast called No Such Thing as Grown Ups. And okay. we've done improv on there for years. And it's um, I've just found it very therapeutic for myself yeah. to go on. And uh, a lot of times, uh, so I also have... Um, been diagnosed with general anxiety disorder okay and that's part of why I started this because I thought it would be a good thing to have sure this is. improv for anxiety like yeah. it would be great it's something I heard about on the CBC radio they have it in Toronto mm -hmm. and um, I was just talking about this guy who did it and um, you know I was listening to the radio and I was like oh it'd be so awesome if that was here in Mary Machine and how many people could help and you know everybody's always complaining that there's not enough resources for yep. mental health and this oh. is something that very easily can be done and um, it, it did, it's not something that would require to, us to have like, uh, you know, psychologists and, yeah. and for sure it's not, it's not for that and we want to stress that it's not yeah. something that's going to replace going to therapy or anything right. like that. Uh, it would be in addition to therapy, I guess. Is this something. home for you, Miramichi? No, actually. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I was uh, originally from St. John okay. and then uh, I spent <gasps> a lot of time working in... We imported you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're glad. No, that's right. That's okay. Hey. Yeah. We know this lovely lady's from here. <laughs> Mandy, tell us about you. Well, I was born in Chatham, lovely Chatham, it's a good and thing. I know, yeah, I know you ladies know all about yeah. that. Um, and I married with two wonderful little girls, twelve-year-old Gracie and Olivia is seven. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe she's beautiful. Seven. I know, it's insane. Yeah. Um, so 
how I got involved with this with Tara. Tara and I have been friends for years and always had a lot of fun just kind of yeah. hanging out together and laughing and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. And uh, I'm sure you guys know that I enjoy laughing. Oh, you're so funny. No, I, I don't like, like, you, know, you can have your own show and comedy. <laughs> yeah. and you I don't know that about her. Yeah. her. You're hilarious, Mandy. Oh, and a really great actress, yes. I shall add. Oh, thanks. That's true. I come from a very funny family. You do. Yes. And I think that we very talented always, family. very talented family, yeah. musically oh and, and uh, oh, acting yes. wise, everything. Yeah, everyone is is they're pretty awesome. Creative yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, and I think that helps us a lot with anything that went on, you know, funerals or anything that was a sad moment. We always turned it around to make it mm -hmm. either silly, funny. Yeah. We made it a celebration. Yeah. Um, and I'm also diagnosed with um, generalized anxiety disorder, and mm -hmm. I'm postpartum depression, and all those things, oh. and so. I always used humor to try to get through. I mean, that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know, something that I grew up doing. And then when I saw that Tara was doing something like this and me just loving being ridiculous <laughs> and using it as, as a tool. my therapy, right? Yeah. yeah, a tool. And it's funny because Tara was posting this thing on Facebook and I was messaging her at the same time saying, oh my God, I would like to help. And yeah. she's messaging me at the same yeah. time saying, did you want to help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Please come and help me. Great yes. minds. Yes. So like yes. Generalized disorder anxiety is so across the board. I mean, yeah. isn't yeah. it one in five that are affected with mental health yep. issues? Yes. And yeah. Veronique has shared her spells with anxiety yep. on the mm -hmm. show. And I, I'm more of a, as you know, a very hyper excitable person. So I get anxious about worrying about things and things like that. I don't yep. have yep. like anxiety yeah. where, you know, like you people may express yes. it is. I don't yeah. know what it is actually. Yep. I don't. I don't well, it's funny because I it's my my thing this year is is taking back the power that anxiety took from me. Mm. So my so when I get nervous now, I I, I have to really examine what that is. It, am I just nervous, sure. which is mm -hmm. normal and, yes. and and very you know everyday kind of thing, or am I having anxiety about this? And anxiety to me is bigger, you know, mm. and it's much Absolutely. it's much deeper. Takes you over. So yeah, mm -hmm. so you know, I, I recently went ziplining in Vegas, and I, I said to Dad, Oh my God, I can't do this. I can't do this. Right. And I, I said, I think I'm having an anxiety attack. And then I thought, no, I'm just really nervous because right. I'm about to plunge off a building. That's great. Right? right? right. Which, which is and okay. And it's normal to have those. Right. Things, those yeah. Things. And, that's theory. and really with anxiety, it's it, it's an, it's a something that is helping you. Mm -hmm. And it's, anxiety is there to help you, yeah. is to help to save you from all these things. But yes. sometimes it can prevent us from doing things. Right. Essentially, that's what... Uh, the improv for anxiety, we don't perform, uh, and that's our main difference of do of just a regular improv class, mm -hmm. I guess, and that's kind of what we wanted to come on here to explain because mm -hmm. so many people in Miramichi, they're just kind of thinking that, or this is what I think they're thinking, right? From what they told they told <laughs> yes. us, that, uh, oh, well, I'm not a comedian, I, I'm not trying to be funny, or I don't like to get up in front of yeah. people, or mm -hmm. I don't like to do this and all this because they have these ideas uh, what Im of what uh, improv is, right? Acting and, 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 and yeah, yeah. ad libbing and all that. Mm -hmm. It is not that at all no. what we do, because yeah. <laughs> I. Like so I can't, watch, I'm not like, quick. Um, I'm not quick, and that's <laughs> fine. Any person can come and join our improv for anxiety class. Um, if you have anxiety, it's better. We want you. If you don't have anxiety, you can still come. <laughs> and have fun and learn You'll have and fun. relax. Absolutely. Yeah, but we want the people with anxiety because they, um, when you have anxiety, you have specific superpowers that are going to help you with improv. And okay. It's specifically designed for that. So our sign it says improv for anxiety. It sounds like the improv is for the anxiety and it will help you with your anxiety. It'll mm -hmm. help you to practice your communication mm -hmm. skills, okay, yeah. uh, to be um, to increase your self-awareness, we work on that, and also to build your confidence because mm -hmm. you're doing things that are, are kind of out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. all the time, every week. Mm -hmm. And by practicing that when you're out in the wild, uh, which is what I call it yeah, when yeah. you're out in the world, <laughs> yeah. that you're gonna just be able to go and do it, right? Okay. Because you've done it so many times before in improv that it's just hopefully you're gonna be saying yes, and that's all we do. That's the only rule we have is to say yes, and as long as you keep doing that, you're gonna be perfect. So just a question to direct it for, to Mandy for yeah. one moment. Uh, you know how the stigma, unfortunately, is still attached to people with PTSD, with, uh, with anxiety, with mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. We're talking more about it. It's amazing the strides we've made in that area. However, how are you going to be encouraging people to get through your door? Because everyone, like I said, has moments of anxiety, whether they're short-lived or every other day. Yep. It's to get yeah. them there to enjoy and to benefit from your program. Do you think there'll be that wall up for people? Or how are you oh, going to... definitely. Let's, let's encourage people to go. Yeah, well... We don't want to scare things, people. We want to bring them. Yes. Because a lot of the time, I know for, for us, like just for me, just leaving the house okay. gives me a lot of anxiety. Okay. Just going and having to be around people. So... I had to force myself 
to go with Tara <laughs> to anxiety and now that I know I can do it and it's the only time of the week that I enjoy leaving the house. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Tell me that until like months in. We, yeah. are, we have already done uh, three classes. <laughs> so how, often, she's like, how I, often do you do these? Uh, once a week, so okay. it's every Monday. Is it just starting? Uh, no, so this this will be, our, we're going to do a uh, drop-in class on this coming Monday, April 1st. April, April 1st, from 7 to 8. Yes. Yes. No jokes, and that's one of the things right. about improv. We hate jokes. We're not interested in anybody's jokes or anybody that's going to come in and be a comedian. No. We're not interested in that no. period. We will say goodbye, but we'll right. set down the, <laughs> the rules at the we'll beginning anyway. of these things. Yeah. 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 April 1st, 7 to 8, where? And it's going to be at the uh, East Side Creative Center. Oh, yes. Just yeah. above yeah. Creative Grounds. Creative Grounds yeah. across we'll from the Bowl Theater yes. in yes. Chatham, Miramichi East. So yeah. it's five bucks. We hope everybody comes to try it out. And that's the only time we're going to have a trial uh, night to do it. Okay. Because mm -hmm. after that, our course is kind of on lockdown. And mm -hmm. the reason being is that we all have anxiety in it, or maybe we don't, we don't know, we don't care. We don't mm -hmm. ask everybody like, what's your anxiety yes, yeah. or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, you just come and we're gonna do it. But it is on lockdown so, because we don't want everybody from the public or whatever, strangers coming in and just coming in and, and no. watching us. And making everybody uncomfortable. Not part, cool. not part of it. This is a real group. Yeah. This is a Absolutely. true uh, yes. reason to get together and to work things out through uh, improvisation. And yes. And that's yeah. why we're trying to, to get people to come is because we want them to know that this isn't going anywhere but it's with space. us. Right. It's a safe space. Yeah. And that word gets right? overused a lot, but really it's it but you are creating that by saying, you know, mm -hmm. yes, you can come up, come this time and try it out and see what you're saying. But yeah. really if you're gonna join us, we're yeah. here for you. Yeah. And we're also um, part of the uh, improv is the idea that you're gonna say yes and but you also have to trust and we're actually what we're doing in each of these classes is building an improv troupe. So uh, within the troop, we're building, you know, trust and all of that, and so that if people are not, it's diff if it's different people, you can't have immediate trust with someone. That's right. No, it's yeah. not going to work that way. And th so through the eight weeks of the classes, they're always, you know, been building up, and people have gained confidence. But you have to start like it's an eight-week course, so you have to be aware that it's going to start April first and go the full eight weeks, and you have to pay your five and be in. You have yeah. To stay well, in. the first um, right? this drop-in night is yeah. April first, so that's just a drop-in night. Okay. You can come try mm -hmm. it out, and you can leave. You don't like it that's great okay. come but you in get to see and see what we do. and yeah and right, even if you yeah. just come to see what it is so you could tell someone else that has anxiety right. sure. and we would love that too yeah. um, after that our set well it's gonna just be seven weeks for spring but our, mm -hmm. we're gonna have a seven week class that'll mm -hmm. start the uh, April 8th I guess it okay. is the week after that okay. and how much is it for that uh, it's uh, $50 if you've done the classes any of our classes before and it's $60 for new spring okay. I mean, seven it's weeks. so therapeutic wow. it's fun it's, it's getting so to know fun. other it people so that fun. deal with the same thing you all deal with and I think everybody has anxiety really so everyone yeah. that yeah. room should be full yeah well and it's fun and too I, I would assume like the more that you do that you you find those coping things that work for you or that like somebody else may share what well what's really for, for us yeah. um, the, the reason that we want people with anxiety to come in is there's five superpowers that you have when you have anxiety oh, and okay. they really benefit when you're doing improv one uh, with anxiety comes higher intelligence so usually people with anxiety are just smarter mm -hmm. which is great they're, they're, they're the a, type, a type yeah type a. Type a. they're very creative so mm -hmm. they can make up lots of lies and stuff to get out of things so yes, you might yes. recognize that but yeah. that helps for improv right oh, right, uh, right. Oh, yes. very shrewd because they can tell when someone else is lying really quickly and that okay. helps with improv as well because you can try to think about what someone else is trying to get at in a yeah. scene yeah. Um, the other thing is that they're very brave uh, people with anxiety have to live every day out in the world with anxiety and they're yep. putting on masks and these sort of things. Oh. They are very brave people and it's yeah. something that I don't think people with anxiety get a lot of credit for. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is that they're good at decision making. Because you have anxiety, you tend to think about things a lot. What you're doing. Yep. And you're very good yep. at making decisions. So you've already practiced that. So come into improv and make these great decisions and you know do some scenes with us. It'll be I very fun it. to make friends. So Mandy, it. you find like you're just like getting out of the house now, being yes. with Tara. So that's yep. step that's A, yeah. you made that, and now step B is going to be with a, a lot of people, yeah. hopefully, to do this new venture, and then, like, who knows, should we be taking them out and going out in the public and spreading the word beyond yeah. Well, sheet? yes, we're trying to, like, we were thinking of doing, um, like, professional development days. Like, mm -hmm. we know that there's different businesses that do things with their coworkers. Schools. Mm -hmm. Schools, yeah. we, we had some people from the high school come over, and it's, they're doing amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we wanna do, like, different groups of people, not just our own little, no, no. The our ones own that little come seven to your week. sessions. Yeah, we'd love to go up to places and do this. We'd love to do it in schools. We'd love to do it anywhere. What's your book here? Yeah. Tara? Well, this is just something I wanted to bring in. So um, we do have our backgrounds both in, in teaching and our, we hold in, in having anxiety. Yes. Yeah. And also just in you know kind of being funny, doing funny things. Mm -hmm. But we're not. Uh, we haven't just started without any kind of like 
hey, we just want to start this thing. Um, no. I do have, uh, it is based, uh, well, our classes are based mm -hmm. on this, the so Truth in Comedy, which is the Dow Close method of um, improv. And basically, it's the same improv method that they used on SCTV and okay. Second City mm -hmm. and all of these places. It's Race? the exact same thing that we're doing there. Oh. So there is a method to our madness. We didn't mm -hmm. just look up a bunch of games or whatever <laughs> no, and we're no. just going to play them. It's a them. manual. It is a manual yes. and we're following that directly. Yeah. And I can tell you, Ooh. each time I come in with the ideas from here, and Mandy can probably attest to this, so I'll come in and say, we're going to try this tonight. If it doesn't work, I've got something else that we'll do that we've already innovators, done. Innovators, innovators. And that's no problem. But every time it works, mm -hmm. there really these works. are tried and true methods. Mm -hmm. You will be funny. I seriously thought for the classes Aww. that we've had that I was like, so you guys are just funny in general? Like you're, you're coming in and you're already funny mm -hmm. out in life? And they're just like, I don't know what you're talking about or whatever. We're just like, you guys are hilarious. Like, this Ooh, could be a TV yeah. show. You laugh yeah. and laugh, and laugh. that just yes. dispels a lot of anxiety right there. Yeah. Laughter is so medicinal. Yeah. Well, and that's the and thing, right? I mean, it, just, it, it boosts your endorphins. It exactly. changes everything about your mood. It you breaks know, down yeah. your anxiety because you're yeah. focused on funny stuff and not yeah. your own issues. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we want to do. We want to help people that you know, want to get out of the house and do something and laugh their butts off. Forget about the and other forget stuff about, yeah, for an just hour. An hour yeah. Just anything. Is it always seven to eight? eight? It, um, yeah, it'll be. Yeah, it'll always be Mondays seven to eight. And the reason we do it on Mondays as well, um, I know that might be a difficult time or whatever. But at the beginning of the week, then you don't have issues. And I can see that if it's mm. later in the week, that people will be like, "Well, Neil, I can't go because of this and that." Yeah, whatever. Or it's happened. been a rough week. Or it's Monday. Exactly. Rip the bandaid off. We get it done. Mm -hmm. And I promise that the rest of your week will probably. It's a good way a to start better. the week, it even is. though it starts on Sunday. Monday is the day yes. everyone kind of looks forward to thinking, yes. "Oh, I could like yeah. go back to bed." Yeah. Yeah. Back to so work. to clarify, I'm very smart without anxiety. I still go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we welcome she everybody. Said, she said people with anxiety. I'm very <laughs> smart. I'll get to that, Judy. I'm okay. very smart. Yes. <laughs> but I don't have We do welcome anybody. But we do have a preference for people with right. anxiety. I can for make. Sure. I can be anxious. For sure. I can go anxious on yeah. Monday. You can act, okay. as, act as if. You I can have anxious. a really, really rough day and make a really hard but day. But please of come. Anybody can come to the drop-in. Okay. You don't have to have anxiety. We're not going to ask anybody to self-disclose yeah, really. or anything like that. You're not and looking for the doctors. No, with the, the other thing no, is okay. that, yeah. Um, yeah. like I said, it's not a replacement for therapy. Right. We, we definitely recommend that you do this in conjunction with therapy mm -hmm. if you have uh, stronger issues. But definitely, if you have just you know general social anxiety or general mm -hmm. anxiety. Come on down and see what it's all about, and then you'll. We promise you're going to laugh. And the other thing is that it's you know kind of difficult sometimes to make fun uh, to make fun to make friends <laughs> as adults. Yeah. And yeah. Um, social things. So yeah. weird, but all of our troop because of how it's built, we have become very close and, and yeah. friends. Well, what about yeah. age group? You're saying anyone's welcome, but how old? But nobody under 13. <laughs> So okay, 14 yeah. plus. 14 yeah. and over. Yeah. So, so we're at a time, which, oh, you know, okay. is the way it always goes. But we want to thank you both for coming. Delightful. To, to talk thank with you for and, having and us. We want, to make, we want to encourage everyone to reach out to them on Facebook. I know you have a... a yes. So we're on Facebook, Improv yeah. for Anxiety. And we also have a website, uh, Improv machine.com <laughs> fantastic so All thank right. you so much perfect congratulations um, we, will, we will see you next monday don't go too far um and you know what vote 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 thank Hockey. you happy monday and we'll see you for the rest of the week as well see you everybody take care